Welcome to the Oakland's channel. Thanks for watching today. Now today let's do something a little bit different. Let's do more of a um, behind the scenes type look of exactly where I get the topics or the ideas for the videos on my channel. Because recently I was watching a video by a friend of mine, Retro Ed UK, and he was doing a video response of where he gets the ideas for the videos on his his channel as sort of a, um, a community, um, community uh, what's the word I'm looking for, discussion. And I decided to continue the community aspect there and just sort of uh, talk about where I get the topics and ideas for my channel from. And also, if you haven't heard of Retro Ed UK, it's not too late to get on the Retro Ed train. Head on over to the uh, link in the description down below and check out his channel as well. And give him a uh, subscribe and give him a follow. He does a lot of the showcasing of retro toys and games that he finds out in the wild, as well as some hot takes on topics and such. And it's always, it's always an enjoyable watch uh, on his channel. But today, let's take a little look at the uh, planning for the Ogles channel. Now, generally speaking, I do strive for about uh, seven videos a month. That was a, a New Year's goal that I set for myself was every month have at least seven videos. Uh, some months I go above that, some months I go below that, but I try to average out to be uh, seven for the entire month. And I try to shoot for um, either Tuesday, Thursday, or Sunday for the upload days, but sometimes my regular job gets a little bit more busy and are hectic, and those days get pushed to um, other days. Topic-wise, I do try to divide those seven videos up amongst um, two or three uh, indie game reviews, um, two or three uh, things in the news that caught my attention that I something I want to talk about. Uh, one TMNT video every month. And I also try to throw in one video. It's just sort of um, something fun that I enjoyed making. Just uh, sort of off the wall. <laughs> now for the indie game reviews, I tend to focus on ones that have either just come out or one that me and my friends have just sort of really gotten into recently. And we, we played a lot. And I just sort of want to talk about it. Um, occasionally a company will reach out to me with a, a review copy of a game. And I, and I will almost always review the ones that they reach out to me with. And so there's a few of those on there, but for the most part, it's simply ones that um, I'm just really interested in. I do tend to review more indie games on the channel than I do uh, big AAA games. And the reason for that being is because uh, by the time I actually finish playing through a AAA game, write the review, record it, put it out there, um, there's so many other videos out there that's oversaturated with those AAA games um, that my video sort of falls by the wayside. And so I tend to focus more on the uh, indie games when it comes to that. And also, it, I like to give a little bit of a spotlight to some of the indie game companies because they don't always um, get pushed out there into the limelight as much. And so I like to give them a little bit of a spotlight as well. And plus, like I said, I just enjoy playing those games. Now for the news videos um, that I do, originally I was doing a, a weekly recap or news of the week where I take all the news for the week and do a Saturday or Sunday video. And I sort of recap everything that happened in, in the video game world on those. But um, those weren't as fun for, the, for me to make and they didn't seem to be getting the... Um, retention that I was hoping for either. And so I decided to change that and just take, you know, two or three topics that I see in the news, things that I enjoy, have a strong opinion about, and I talk about that more as an individual topic instead of a, a, a guaranteed weekly newscast. And um, based upon the, uh, the views and based upon the um, retention rate, it seems to be like that you guys enjoy those more as well. And like I said, um, that's more fun for me to do than just simply a uh, a newscast of what happened <laughs> that week in the video game world. I also try to get out at least one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle video every single month because uh, it started back at the uh, beginning of this year and I put out a video for um, the very first Ninja Turtles on the NES and I did a little bit of an opinion on some of the enemies in that game and uh, I had a lot of fun playing it because that's one of my one of my all-time favorite games and I decided from that just to continue on going through some of the retro turtle games and I went through all the NES ones I went through all the Game Boy ones I went through uh I've got one coming up for the SNES and the uh Sega Genesis one and I did a tournament fighters one and then eventually spread into doing an unboxing of some uh, retro toy reissues and uh, I had a lot of fun with the turtle content and so I just sort of try to keep up at least one turtle a month because I think a decent number of my subscribers according to the uh, the viewing on the YouTube analytics, um, are here for the turtle content. So I always try to put out at least one turtle, every, one turtle video every month. And also, I'm just a huge fan of the turtles. And then I also like to do at least one random video on the channel every month. And these are not necessarily ones that pick um, or fall into one of the other earlier categories. These are ones that are generally still video game focused, such as like uh, maybe like a cool Smash Brothers tournament idea or unboxing of a, a retro item that I found or a collector's item that I came across or a, a cat video <laughs> I think you guys might enjoy. Now these videos are a little bit hard to plan for because they don't necessarily fall into a specific category like the earlier ones. However, uh, these are always a ton of fun for me to make because they just sort of um, a little more experimental and I get to try some new things and sort of see if they, uh, I want to take the channel in maybe a little bit different direction and try some new things. Now next year I'm going to try to push for eight videos per month instead of seven videos per month because I'm trying to get more content out there for you guys to watch. But also uh, I enjoy working on this channel. It's a, it's a passion project for me. 
and pushing myself a little bit further is something that I'll enjoy doing when it comes to this channel. The extra video per month will probably fall into one of the categories that I mentioned <laughs> earlier or one of the topics I mentioned earlier. But if there's something you'd like to see me cover on this channel, by all means, let me know in the uh, comment section down below. And um, I'm always happy to expand out the content a little bit and bring in some other things that fall under the, under the umbrella of video games, retro stuff, and, um, you know, cats and things like that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.